Hey Gemini, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a bonus love reading for Gemini. And, whew, sorry, let me get you guys. I need to get this table in the picture. For those who have Gemini placements, check your chart. Cross watchers, as always, you're welcome here. Keep in mind that energy is fluid. The, most, the roles may be reversed. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary. Never force it. I can't stress that enough. If it's for you, the messages will be for it. Never force the reading. All right, so Gemini, I feel like we're just gonna go into it and see what messages the divine has for you in love. All right. That flipped over, so that wanted to come out. Oh, I can't. I pull it out too. That wanted to come out. Somebody's resisting a reunion out of immaturity. I mean, I'm sorry, out of maturity, I should say. Forgive me. They're resisting a, re uh, a reunion. So I feel like you guys right now are not together. This is being crowned by the eight of swords someone here is feeling like powerless like they're being resisted somebody's resisting a reunion here and other person is like they, they they can't do anything about it they feel stuck they um you may have this person on read like you read the messages but you don't respond or they may be blocked because they don't know what to do this person might have gone as far as trying to reach you on social media all right i have um this is gemini energy but I feel somebody, they're just being on their own, stable, abundant, and successful. Six of Wands. <laughs> they're not phased by this person that's trying to reach out to them. I wonder what happened here. Ah. Okay, this person was, with the Knight of Wands reversed, this person comes off as a player. Like, really non-committal, going with the flow, cocky. I feel like the person you were connecting with was very set in how things were moving. They didn't see the problem. They were going at a pace they wanted to go. They were doing what they wanted to do. Their needs were being met. But not yours. And you got tired of that shit. Okay, with the Seven of Cups reversed, it's like you saw things for what they were. You got clarity. I was like, I get it. Like, okay, back to reality. Like, let me snap out of it. Let me snap out of this shit. And now this person with the page of swords, I feel like they're spying on you. They're trying to see what's going on with Gemini. They wanted to communicate with you. This is somebody now who wants to be forgiven by you by their non-committal ways. They lack discipline. Like, this is somebody that you couldn't tame. It was very hard to get this person to be on the same page as you. They wasn't willing to commit. With the two of pentacles reversed, this is somebody that just had an inability to connect. They didn't want to commit to anything. They just wanted to just come and go as they please. All right. So with the three of wands, I get the energy that you chose to go towards growth and expansion. And you're like, with confidence. And I love that. I feel like you just, you know your worth. You know what you want. And it's just like, okay, I allowed myself to slip up. And now you had to remind yourself who you are. And you decided just to move forward from this person. Meanwhile, with the Knight of Swords, this person is wanting to come back in again. They want to strike while the iron's hot. They might have heard that you're not seeing somebody or the assumption is that they feel that you may not and they want to come in fast and hasty and they want to make a move because they're like, oh shit, she's, you know, she or he has given up now. Like, I, I, I might have taken it too far. Yeah, page of wands. I'm telling you, this person is want to come in with some sort of communication I'm getting Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo energy here. When the cards come out sideways, guys, I put them back. I only read uprights and reversals. I'm getting strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong fire. Show me more. Why is this Queen of Wands reverse here? Oh. This person was deceiving you with someone. Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, this could have been an ex, somebody they may have a child or children with, somebody who was jealous of you, 
But this person had a hot, like a really hot temper. They were very demanding and jealous and pushy and selfish and very insecure. But this person still was rocking out with them. This is why they wasn't willing to come together with you the way that you wanted them to. This is why you guys weren't like building together in a solid commitment with the Three of Pentacles in reverse. There was a lack of commitment because this person was being deceptive and sneaky, okay? But I feel like you know this because I got the Seven of Cups reverse again. I feel like that came out. Maybe it didn't. I feel like you suspected that you got... I feel like you felt clarity more so. Why is this Seven of Cups reverse here? Let me find out what you got clarity on. Okay, this is what it was. You wasn't aware of the deception. But what I am getting is that this person was very stubborn. They were refusing to compromise with you. You couldn't trust them. They couldn't trust you. But what happened was they were projecting their insecurities onto you because they were the ones doing the dirt. But they made you, they tried to make you feel like they were gaslighting you. Okay, and they were paranoid that she was doing you because they was. And if you questioned them, they were defensive and you were just like, I give up on this. I see this for what it is. Okay, but this person was being deceptive with somebody else. So I do feel like you're finding out at this reading. You might have suspected it, but this is a confirmation. Okay, now this person wants to come in with a page of cups. <laughs> they want to like gift you something or say something sweet to you but like a lot of you have this person blocked but not all of you this is someone that you're definitely not no longer with you're in a separation from or a breakup i should say get, i'm getting very strong cancer scorpio pisces energy here you just feel like this person is toxic you could be like you could be connected with a capricorn but there's like this addictive energy like i feel like at one time you guys were very addicted to each other sexually couldn't keep your hands off each other like the sex was off the hook. That's what was a hard part of you leaving this person. Um, why is this 10 of cups here? This person wants to come back. They feel like you're their stability and they want to come back. Okay. They're a little hesitant because they're stressed. They're stressed about their decision to return. They don't know what you're going to say to them. Um, my advice is to create clear boundaries, which I feel like you're already doing, Gemini, with the Queen of Swords here, but also be open to the communication, all right? Um, stand on what you, know, what you feel, be clear about your wants and your needs, be honest about that. There's gonna be some clarity coming in with the Ace of um, Swords. This person is gonna come in with clarity and communication they are gonna come in, but they're just like, right now, they feel like, oh shit, like what if Gemini rejects me? Why is this Six of Swords here? Clarify for me. Okay, this person is actually gonna abandon the connection they're in now. They're gonna walk away. They're gonna walk away from this Queen of Wands reverse and they're gonna come towards you with the Six of um, Swords. They're going towards their healing. They feel like their healing is with you, with the sun, a victory. Sun is the most positive card in the deck. They want happiness with you. They want to be transparent with you. They're tired of being sneaky. Could be connecting with the Leo. Show me more of this person's feelings, please, for Gemini. Yeah, they definitely betrayed you with somebody else. They had you, in, like, they were wilding. They was non-committal, though. That's the thing. With the three of cups reversed, I'm getting that. They were being deceptive. They were neglecting you. They were... They were definitely, there was definitely a third party that this person had you in. But now they want a commitment. They do want to commit. They want to build a foundation with you, a solid foundation. They want long term. With the death, this person could be going through a spiritual transformation now. And now they see that, you know, damn, like I'm spending all this time running around and wilding out. Meanwhile, I have somebody here that's exactly what I want and need. So there's some sort of transformation. And there's a, some, one thing is ending, a new thing is beginning. Could be connecting with the Scorpio. All right? Yeah, with the, with the moon reverse, something's going to be clear with this person. With they, they're going to come in and be clear about everything that they've been hiding from you. And I feel like once it comes out, you're going to feel like you're... 
your anxiety is going to subside too because you had your own anxiety because you felt uneasy around this person. You started not to feel comfortable in their energy because you knew they was hiding something. All right, strong target, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody that was like emotionally unavailable. Very, very manipulative in their ways. Um, they were more focused on status than anything else. And with the Ace of Wands reverse, it's like you wanted this, but this was something that never really got off the ground. Like you were with this person, you were spending time with this person, you was in a situation shit with this person, but you never really got what you wanted from this person because they were hesitant. They were hesitant. Yeah, but now, yep, four of wands. This person is wanting to come together. They wanted to come together. They wanted to make things work. They want stability. They want a reunion. Make no mistake, this person wants a reunion with you. With the queen of pentacles, they view you as very nurturing, very healing. Um, somebody who can like, you know, like a homemaker. For some of you, if you have a child or children already, um, they see you as a, a great parent, a, a working parent. You you know, you, you're very stable. You know how to take care of yourself. They love that about you. Now it's time to pick up the pieces is what I'm hearing. That's what they're saying. Like the, enough has happened. The disaster happened. Now they're like, okay, I want to pick up the pieces and start over with the tower in reverse Aries energy. Show me um, Gemini's feelings. Um, before I go into your feelings, this person, they want to let go. They want to recover. They have deep-seated fears that you're going to reject them because they played with you too long. They kept playing around with you. They pick you up when they wanted to, and then they put you back on the shelf when they didn't want you to. And you really got tired of that shit. Like, now they want to rush in. They're determined to make this work with the Knight of Swords, but they make hasty decisions. So this might catch you off guard the way this person finally comes in. <laughs> Show me um, Gemini's feelings. What is Gemini's feelings for this person? Yeah, they, you, you, you feel like you're hesitant <laughs> to a new beginning with this person. Like You're like, I, I don't want this. This is somebody, it's unrealistic to think I could be happy with this person. Knight of Cups is in reverse. You're like, this person was decept very deceptive, and I don't want no drama. Like, I don't want to be disappointed anymore, and I don't want any drama. But the lover's card is here. I, want, I need um, clarity. You feel like this is your soulmate, but at the same time, you also feel like it's hopeless. You're like, just because I feel for this person doesn't mean we're supposed to be together, I'm getting. You can be, you connect them with another Gemini or um, a Gemini connecting with an Aquarius. It's just like, you, you feel like this person just can't be, like, this is a disloyal person. Like, you can't trust this person. So it's like, it doesn't matter how I feel about this person. It doesn't matter because I can't trust them. Temperaments reverse. Yeah, you feel like this person just overindulges. Like, it's never enough. You were never enough for them. And not because you you feel any less about who you are. You know who you are. You just feel like this person is greedy and reckless. And now you're just focusing on self-healing. It could be something with a Sag. Yeah, you're just focusing on yourself. You're focusing on putting in your work, focusing on um, just building for yourself and focusing, again, work. I'm getting work. Mastering whatever it is that you're, that you're into, whatever job or whatever. Some of you are starting your own business and you're focusing on that. With the hangman, I'm getting like... You're just surrendering to, to new things. You have a new perspective on things and you're very independent. I love this. Okay, so show me the challenges for Gemini. This came out sideways. I only read uprights and reversals. Show me the challenges, please, Gemini. These cards are so slippery. I'm getting used to them now. What are the challenges for Gemini when it comes to this connection? Oh, show me the challenges when it comes to this person for Gemini. Accepting an apology here. <sighs> 
this do you tend to be feel vulnerable with this when this person comes around they make you feel vulnerable like i feel like you feel stronger because you're not communicating with this person you're not allowing them to come around you <laughs> so because so it's always easier because you know out of sight out of mind but your challenge is to be able to resist this person and really to forgive them with the justice because they're going to want to come in they're going to want it with accountability clarity and they want your forgiveness your challenge is to be able to resist that because again this person makes you vulnerable I can tell you, though, with patience, planning, with hard work, there's an opportunity for a new beginning here. All right? This person is going to say they want long-term with you. They want to put in the work. But your challenge is to be able to resist their apology, to resist it. You may do so. Yeah, the King of Wands, this person wants to come in um, as a leader, Somebody that you feel safe with, someone who's finally, someone who's faithful. With the Five of Cups reverse, they want to heal this. They want your forgiveness so bad. Like, they want to make this up to you. They want to be accountable. So your challenge is, like, can you... Because you're right now, you're resistant. But it's like, can you resist this person when they come in? It's going to be hard to. Show me advice, please. What advice do we have for Gemini? Because you guys were like so obsessed with each other. Like I said, I feel like it's out of sight, out of mind. That makes it easier. Show me advice, please, for Gemini. Oh, somebody's so stubborn here. I feel like it's you right now. <laughs> Trying to stand your ground. Show me advice. Okay. Someone who caused you a lot of unhappiness. Again, somebody who was very, like, just doing whatever the hell they want to do with whoever. Just being overindulgent and just seeing other people and just not being committal. This person now wants a commitment. They actually feel sorrow for how they treated you. They're wanting to commit to you. Okay? A lot of times when I ask the cards for advice, they show me the situation again. There's going to be some sort of breakthrough here, an opportunity to move forward. There's a lot of passion, again, between you two. Somebody's definitely taking action. Okay, um, advice, please. This is not over. The person that took you for granted, the person that wasn't reciprocating, they're coming in. They're coming back in. They want your forgiveness. Yo, how many times did I get forgiveness? Spirit is just showing me that they're gonna come in with clarity, the moon reverse, and they want your forgiveness. The moon, the world tells in reverse tells me this is not over. You can be connected with a Pisces or a Capricorn. So what's the advice? Compromise. You guys, there's gonna be a reconciliation here. Okay. Some sort of storm happened in New York. The advice is to be willing to compromise with this person, allowing them to prove to you that things are changed, that they are different. Let them prove it to you. It's not like just being, um, don't be hasty. Let them prove to you that things change. Let them work for it. Make them work for it. You got to use your discernment because don't be in my comments saying you're done with this person. I don't want to take this person back. I'm tired. All I'm telling you is that this person is willing to work for it now. Just see it this way. This person didn't give you the commitment but they were still being sneaky and they were dipping and dabbing in an X and they was just wilding. You know what I'm saying? So they wasn't showing you that they value you, but they didn't necessarily cheat on you because they were non-committal the whole time. You know, they just wasn't giving you that commitment. They wasn't like committed and then they went and cheated on you. It's just, they was being sneaky and just doing what they wanted to do. That's still a betrayal because you were with this person and only this person and you felt that they gave you the illusion that they were also the same in that way but you know it wasn't no solid relationship on the table y'all were going with the flow but now this person wants to like they want to to move on past the resentment they want to compromise the advice is to listen to this person and because there's going to be a reconciliation here i have the sun there's a lot of happiness here, and it's going to come with the transparency that you wanted from this person the whole time. You wanted this person to be transparent. You want them to be open and receptive and, and want this commitment with you. And now they finally want to give it to you. With the Leo here, for some of you. There's a lot of ha there's an opportunity for, ha for happiness. 
show me one more, a little more advice, please, for Gemini. Use your discernment, guys. It is ultimately your decision. You do have free will. Okay. Um, you still feel negative about this person because your son is in reverse and theirs is upright. You, you, like, you feel like their expectations are unrealistic. It's never going to happen. But look, it's going to happen. Ace of Cups. This person is going to come in and they're going to pour out all these emotions that they've been suppressing all this time. They're going through some sort of emotional awakening now. There's personal growth here. This person is not just coming in and you're like, how am I supposed to believe this person? Yes, they got to prove it to you. But I just want you to know that it's absolutely sincere. This person is realizing how deeply they actually do love you. All right. So the advice that I have to you is don't overgive to this person with the Queen of Cups reverse. Again, make them, let them work for it. Let them prove to you that things have changed. All right, but there's going to be some positive changes here in this connection with the Five of Pentacles reverse. All right, so before we close out this read, I'm going to pull some Oracle cards from your person. Show me the messages that I need to see. What does Gemini need to see in love? What are the messages for Gemini? Confusion. I feel unclear about where I stand. Yeah, so that's the confusion. The person doesn't know where they stand with you because they play too many games. They feel like they might have taken it too far. Like, damn, like, Gemini is never going to forgive me this time. Like, she, Gemini is never going to take me back. Like... I've been doing this too long. Damn. What is happening here? This came out and I didn't even pull this out. I don't even know why I was in this deck. But this is the Eight of Wands. This person is going to take action. There's going to be communication. Some of them, like, I'm getting, like, this person may have to, like, travel towards you. May even be on a plane or something to come back towards you. Reveal, I want to tell you the truth. I told you. This person is coming with coming in with transparency. There's not going to be any more secrets between you and this person, Gemini. They're going to come in with clarity. Mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. Yeah. They know they made a lot of mistakes when they came. They fumbled you is what I'm getting. Unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Yeah. This person knows too. They're like, this is not over. Like, this can't be over. I need to speak to Gemini. I need Gemini to forgive me. Unexpected outcome, things didn't go the way I planned. I feel like this person wasn't expecting to not be okay <laughs> without you. They're like, oh shit, like I'm actually in love with this person. <laughs> I'm in love with Gemini. Neglected, I failed to give you what you need. Yeah. I haven't told you everything their secrets. Again, this person wants to come in with a confession. So I'm going to pull on that before I close this. I want to know what they're keeping from you. I want to know what is this person keeping from you? What is this person keeping from Gemini? Don't you want to know Gemini? I do. Okay. Sorry, I got these cards all mixed up. I'm just going to pull in that, all right? But this person is going to come in with transparency now. They're like, what do I have to lose? What is this person keeping from Gemini? What is their confession? Like, what is it they want to tell Gemini? What does this person want to tell Gemini? Show me for the collective. I got these cards mixed in here still from the Oracle deck. Show me one more, please. They want to tell you with the two of wands is that they're making a decision. Like right now, like right now, they're making a decision to tell you 
the confession is that they may they were hesitant to make a, to take a leap of faith with you. Okay, and they were holding back. They were reckless, very inconsiderate of your feelings because they didn't know what they wanted. With the two of wands, it's like trying to figure out what direction they're going to. And look at that. The two of swords on top of the two of wands. <sighs> they wanted to let you know that it was hard for them to find out what they should do. Like they felt at a crossroads when it came to the relationship. They didn't know if they should commit or not. Their confession is that they were holding back. They were afraid to take a leap of faith. Well, we know that part, right? We know that they were taking a leap of faith. There, there was somebody that they, they, they couldn't get over. Like, they were stuck in the past. The Six of Cups reverse. This is someone who was still connecting with somebody from their past. And they wasn't really ready. They, they wanted to play. They wanted to be in and out. They wanted to do what they wanted to with the, with the Knight of Swords. They kind of just wanted to be out there and not having to commit to nobody. And that's what they would. They want to actually confess that which is wild. And they also want to confess with the Five of Cups that they want your forgiveness and they want to recover. They feel like you're their happiness and they want to heal this connection. They don't want to be somebody that's messing around with anybody in the past. And they feel like they was just like stuck in their old ways. That too. Like they've been this way for a long time and they just felt like that's what they wanted to do. Okay, with the nine of swords reversed, this person has a lot of deep seated fears and they're recognizing that and they're recovering. They're realizing that it was fear of commitment and now they want forgiveness from you and they want stability. And that's what they want to confess to you that you are the one. They feel guilt and there's a lot of self hate. They don't like the way they've treated you. They were feeling, look at that. Oh shit. They don't like the way they treated you. They feel guilty from that. And they feel like the way they treated you shows that they didn't really care much about themselves. And and they love you. They want a partnership. They want a solid commitment with you. And that's what their commitment is. I mean, their confession is. I love this for you. So, um, but they want to tell you, you know, yes, I was out there. Yes, I was doing me. Yes, I wasn't really trying to commit. And I made you feel like I was. And I want to, to change that narrative. And I want to be with you and you only. So those are the messages that I have for you, Gemini, for this reading. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, click on the link in the description box below. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.